Let's check out what cracking is, what the point is, um, as well as how you predict the products of cracking and the conditions required for the process. That's a lot to get through, so let's get started. When we do fractional distillation to separate out the crude oil, what we end up getting is we end up getting a lot of the fractions at the bottom, like bitumen, and not so much refinery oil or gasoline. Now, this is a problem because the ones at the top are really, really in high demand, and the ones at the bottom we don't have as many uses for. So cracking is a way for us to convert those ones that are really low demand into the ones at the top that we want much more of. In the simplest way of thinking about this, the thing that cracking does in, is convert these really, really long alkanes into much shorter alkanes and you also get an alkene out of it. Now the magic of this is that you're converting something that is completely not useful into alkanes which can be used as fuels and alkenes which can be used as plastics, which is awesome. Before we move on, you might also get hydrogen as a product, but there's nothing to worry about. You just get hydrogen and an alkene instead. Let's check out an example. Now, this long alkane um, is decane. It contains 10 carbons. And in reality, the long alkanes from the fractional distillation column might have 50 or 60 carbons in them. But I can't draw that many today. So this is a simplified model for you. When I crack it, I essentially break it into two things. So I'm going to choose to break it at this point, but it could break anywhere along the chain. So I've got a molecule with four carbons being produced and a molecule with six carbons being produced. Now I'm going to choose for the one with four carbons to become my alkane. So if we draw the hydrogens around that, you can see it becomes butane. Now the Alkane I started with has the formula C10H22, and I've already made butane, which has the formula C4H10. So if I balance that out, that means that the formula of my other product must be C6H12. Now that means that it's definitely an alkene because it's got the formula CNH2N. There's double the amount of hydrogens as carbons. Essentially, I don't have enough hydrogens to make another alkane, so it's got to make something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the double bond, and then I'm going to add the hydrogens around the outside to make sure that every carbon has four bonds. Last thing for today are the conditions that you need for cracking. So firstly, you need a catalyst, normally of aluminium oxide or alumina, it's sometimes called, and you need super, super high temperatures. And this turns everything into a vapor and means that vapor can run over the catalyst so it can be cracked into those two products. That's a lot of stuff in today's video. Um, make sure you know the difference between what cracking and what distillation are. Um, lots of students get those two confused, so maybe make yourself a table with the similarities and differences between the two.